Hi right, guys, welcome to episode 6, if I am correct, of Dying Light 2. And in this video, we are going to be taking some delivery to the Dodger. But that's just the beginning of the video. Who knows what else we will be getting our hands in today. So, without further ado, let us parkour our way to our destination. And sit here uh, and listen to the screaming. Can he make it? Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, that was awesome. Thank God they spawned us in daytime and not nighttime. Because I don't think he had any... Wait a minute. Listen, guys. I really want to change the difficulty. Alright. We change the difficulty and we're going to make things normal. Hopefully, it, that was not a mistake. It was easy. It was too easy. But in Dying Light, normal was very hard to me. So, let's try not to make that same mistake. To the Dodger we go. Oh, let's check out like some merchants and stuff. I am still broke as ever. I'm not even gonna check him. I'm broke. What's up, Dodger? How you doing, homie? Hey, what you got for me? I found these filters for one. Mm, okay, I'm not setting my world on fire, but I can move those for a nice profit. How about these? A bottle of cognac and a box of cigars. Now that's what I'm talking about. You see? knew there'd be something valuable at that military base. You see that, Torben? Can I sniff out the good shit or what? <laughs> Kick ass. Uh, speaking of asses, what was Hubie's deal? Is he trying to duck out on me? Uh, Hubert broke his leg, so I went and got the goods for him. He could use a doctor, or at least someone to look in on him while he's on the mend. Oh yes, he'll definitely need a doctor. What are you talking about? You know what they say, trust in God. But break your camel's legs, just in case. Good talk. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one. For balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. You fucking out of your mind? No need to get all broken up about it. Duralex said Lex. The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Mm -hmm. How can you be so sure? Any idea how many people Half-Assed has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? He won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity killed the cat. Thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. 
I saw the potential in you from the start, but I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. And how did I do? Oh, you're something else. But you still have a lot to learn, kid. You lied to me about Hubie. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. This is no world for a saint. A martyr, maybe. If you get yourself killed. At least I'll have a clear conscience. Clear conscience? Wunderbar. <laughs> no one has a clear conscience here. And since you're still alive, neither do you. Right? What have you been getting up to, Pilgrim? What are you running from? Next time, find yourself another patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Eden. Alright, I already knew. This is Sophie. Let's talk now. Nice. Alright, we can continue our actual story. Oh, wait, we just got 550. I was gonna like check out the merchants and stuff. Merchant. Check out him first. Not him. So, wait, endurance. Let's do Venom. Oh, weapon mods. Wait. What's the type of stuff? Oh, nice. And we won't hurt ourselves from that. Know what this is all right so we got some venom thing on our weapons now I just put this on all of it I don't really know what it is all right let's go talk to Sophie and continue our story yeah no you will see me again soon, though, boy. Sophie, you wanted to see me? I've been hearing about you. Good or bad things? Useful things. The ones that make me believe it's worth giving you a chance. What are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters, Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need a few for a certain transaction. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, is kind of shy. They're both craftsmen. Clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. A certain transaction, hmm. Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are. So far, at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first, and we'll see where we go from there. Well, you said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. From the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. Those crystals. What's the deal with them? 
They were created by the chemical bombings of the city, a byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys. That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They're in the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Watch these craft masters give us the jobs we gotta do when we gotta walk in some dark and scary building to make it out successful to go and get her mission. Now let's figure out. Back in the day, I had a huge and massive yourself. You're new here, so you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here, and he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from him? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Come on all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in a dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. This is our boy Raheem all over again. Y'all know him where 
Little brother runs out when he was not supposed to, dies, turns into a zombie. I'm, I'm just predicting the truth here now. Let's not, I don't know Barney like I knew Raheem though. That was my boy Raheem. Barney is nothing to me right now. We're just helping out so we can get to the center city to get our sister. Who's screaming? Why are your kids in the center? Like you hear everybody say, I, I can't see my wife and kids because everybody's in the center. I probably missed something. This man climbs everything. Oh, no problem, no problem. I'll come back at night. Oh, oh yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay, let, let's see. Where can we go to find ourselves doing it at night? Man, did y'all see that? God dang. Alright, I'm probably in here to sleep. Nice, we're gonna sleep on some hay. That's why they say wait until nighttime for the dark zone. Sorry, drinking my water. Some of them didn't want to wake up that today. Sophie, Shut up, honey. I'm Why are you talking next to these guys? You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. All right, so those are level one, so we can easily just. Alright, so when they're level 1, we can take them down. Level 2, we can't take down yet. Probably a level type deal thing. I hope that's not him right there. Oh no. He's dead, guys. What did I tell y'all? teach us how to follow the red footprints. Oh, that's what I wanted. 
Yes, thank you, dead man. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. Who's this fat man? Hey, you good, bro? Okay, that was a lot harder than it should have been. PK General. Wherever you are. Fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You will have it. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, we found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Whatever you're trying to prove, you don't sound so tough to me. Yeah, you sound like one of those little yappy dogs. Get lost and let me do what I need to do. Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away. You ain't getting a thing from me. Fuck. Shit. Great. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Knock y'all silly. Come on. You want this. I'm gonna knock you silly too. Sit back down. Whoa. Shoot. Oh, scarecrow looking suckers. Huh. Let's go, boy. I ain't scared of you. You want this too? Run at me for it. Let's go. Get all this. Oh, ugly looking dudes. Nice. Barney. Okay, that's it. They gone? Yeah. Went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn, but she didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised this old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Hmm, 
All right, fine. I'll look for him. He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you. Got it? Hurry! Move. I wasn't going down without a fight. That's him. Oh, is this you, man? You look beat. Who are you? The maid. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Uh, yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen, it's my birthday today, uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio, I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello, mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney? He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. 
Alright. Well, I'm a little shocked that they would. That poor kid is dead now. And this goddamn bastard named Barney has ran away. Oh yeah, supposedly we don't get hurt anymore from, well, if it's too high, of course you're gonna get hurt, but you don't get hurt from grab the ledge doing it. Let's get down there. We're in the video. Oh yeah, see this? That hurt. I'm here, guys. Okay, I'll go back this way. My bad. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again. What are you doing? Spying on me? Well, you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosey here. Watch where you stick that nose pilgrim or you'll lose it. That fuckwood Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. I suppose most. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim. And they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you. So go bother her. That guy definitely has something to do with Lucas's murder. We'll talk to, uh, what's her face, Sophie. End it there. Uh, big guy. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. coward I know what you think but we have to listen to him Herman as for the bazaar only for the bazaar Sophie relax Herman he saved Barney remember interesting guy your little brother you two didn't get along I take it let's just say it wasn't love at first sight Barney has his downsides but on the outside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. <laughs> That's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill. To support themselves, they take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. 
He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She left the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Wait, didn't your mother want you to succeed? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on, and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. All right, guys. You heard what the deal is, but we will continue in the next video. Because I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button and like button. And don't forget to turn on post notifications to get an alert every time I upload. We're almost at 600 subscribers, guys. Let's get us there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.